I don't normally start off the streams here. Uh, this is our double blaze farm. This is one of the very, very early builds that I did on the server. We're going to go down and collect some blaze rods, but since it's now been fixed, I came down here to stock up on some uh, blaze rods. And this is this is based on the uh, Nembom design where they just they path into these holes based on the blocks. So you have to clear out a huge area, but then if you fill in this area in here with solid blocks, they think that they can pass the path to them. And so you end up collecting a lot of blazes. But if we go down here, we can collect our spoils. I have the animations turned off. You'll see in a minute why. Because when you AFK here for 10 minutes, you get an awful lot of these dudes. And once they start doing their thing, uh, the animation can be a little bit tricky. So we're just gonna blitz these guys real fast here at the start collect some blaze rods and then be on our way because we have a lot of glass that I think is going to be going down in the stream today so I want to make sure I've got enough fuel for the, uh, the super smelter. Can you see this little this little glitch here? It's not a glitch but like this extra block. Originally this entire thing was something that you could fill up uh, and even then I, I've pushed it up to the front row so there's this row of glass here that keeps them all in single file and I've also capped it at like, you know, five or six spots just because it just got so laggy uh, early on. This was back when when I think it was just 1.12. So um, I could probably expand this a little bit and, and have it be a little bit stronger. Um, but right now it's uh, it is what it is. Oh, we got some blaze heads. Sweet. I think this is going to be plenty of blaze rods for us for a little while. We do just have enough room in the shulker and we don't have enough room for that this is the fuel box and it goes back in here and now i need black ink sacks no black dye pardon me let's just turn all of these into dye let's turn at least half of this into concrete i think skeletons are probably my favorite mob i like some of the variations that they have with skeletons um what are they called in the ice biomes they're not husks those are the desert zombies wraiths or something they have a cool noise strays that's it thank you yeah strays are neat i wouldn't mind more varieties of skeletons even if they just had some visual stuff i guess if you've got Optifine, you could introduce like a new skeleton, like a random skeleton texture. Like you could have different colors, you know, like a darker skeleton or something like that. You could have the skeletons in, in the desert show up with like Egyptian headgear. Things like that would be kind of funny. I should bring some extra ink sacks, I think to uh to the end just to have probably a good idea our old defunct ink farm is like totally full so we don't have to build a new one anytime soon because there's just whoa lag there's just a ton so let's just bring four stacks of, of ink do 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 no not that way I'm still getting used to the new nether portal directions. I love that they are consistent, but we've had to relearn a lot of what we have been doing on the Citadel. I just want to bring at least, at least a couple more stacks of glass. Right, I think it's time. Time to go to the end. We're still dealing with what to do with these carpets. Uh, I like what we did here with the carpets being connected, but we don't need to have carpet beyond this point because uh, the Enderman can't teleport past here. So for now, we've just got one carpet on the top of every one of these end rods, purely for aesthetics. I don't think it really does anything. I don't think, because of the light levels, Enderman can't spawn on top of them. Um, but I wanted to use the end rods. Well, that's because it's the end and it's kind of consistent. I wanted to use some blocks I don't normally use. And we are about to hook it up to the main system. We've been working on this for a little while now. And we are finally at a stage where we can hook these pearls up and start sending them into the storage chests and then eventually onto spawn, 
where people in the overworld can collect them and use them without too much trouble. And uh, I'm really excited about this. It's been a couple of uh, couple of episodes working on this and I think it's going to come together quite quickly. Uh, right now, what we need to do is eventually, uh, I thought at first I was going to have to hook up a dropper down here, but I'm realizing we just have to do soul sand. So we can just take this out. Bye bye glass. We can put soul sand in there. Right there. And then I want to say that anything that goes in there should just scoot right underneath, right? Zoop. Yeah, so if that's a bubble column, that'll be sent straight up. And I've already cleared off the space. You can see we're going to hook it up into the existing system. Uh, I guess we could do, to save some time, we could do this like star-shaped sort of uh, system. I guess that's the most economical way to go. I don't know if it's visually the way that I wanted to go. Oh, by the way, uh, Endermen that are spawning on the mainland island are now being uh, evacuated <laughs> into the nothingness. So if you if you see any Endermen leaving, um, they're in a hurry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I that looks okay, I guess. I'm okay with that. We can we can start there anyway. So let's just I guess we'll have to use a couple of spare blocks just to kind of get us up to the right level. So this is going to come together quite quickly, I think. So I'm going to pillar this up and then add the water and then we'll be right back. I guess we'll just keep it going magenta until we run out of magenta. <laughs> now we have to, look, we have just enough glass. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Called that. Not very often does that work out in Minecraft. Cool. Uh, we're not going to be in here very much anyway, so I'm not too, too worried about how it looks in here. This is all going to be uh, taken out, I think, uh, like cleaned out in here. We're never going to come down here again. So now we have to uh, remove the glass column going down through the middle. And what I should do is probably just take out these two blocks here and give myself a place to land like this. So we don't go all the way to the bottom. And now I have to go up there and clear out the, uh, the glass from the old block glitch elevator. So this is the, I guess, behind the scenes. This is where the ender pearls, they get sucked into their storage. And if the storage is full, then they continue on and they go into the overworld. But over here is the top part. And I think we have to maybe remove a couple of these things here. Yes. So this is where we have to go down. So I have to remember that this is purple glass here. And let's actually just remove this water for now. So I think that that was responsible for, yeah, two legs. And none of this actually has to be ice now that now that it's 113, but we're going to leave it there. So from here, we should be able to go straight down. Only because we know where we're going. Sweet. So now we are there. And we do want to get rid of this now. We can replace this and replace that. Learn this lesson before in the swamp. We have to have a solid block underneath it for it to be turned into water. So that should flow that way. And then it should also flow down. There we go. I think this should be enough. Oh, maybe not. We might be cutting her close. Just, just enough. Okay, so now uh, we can, hmm, I guess, break that. And then water source there, water source there. At this point, it really doesn't matter because they, the ender pearls will, the momentum will carry them up. They'll get, they'll get carried all the way up. So that gets made in the glass. This was concrete. Make sure that this looks okay from below. 
I mean, it looks like a giant kelp plant, but looks pretty good to me. I almost want to have almost want to have some brick there, but we can sort that out later when I have a little bit more time. But now we just have to go back down and uh, replace the dirt with uh, with ice. Break that. Do this. That and that. And I think that should go bubble column. Looks like it has done the right thing. And I guess we can just test it because there's no filters on those hoppers. Does that work? Maybe it's going so fast I can't see it. Oh, there it goes. It's just hard to see in the void, I guess. So these do not have filters on them. They're just opened hoppers, which means that there's our kelp. And I don't see our glass anywhere. So I might have to go check to see if it went farther down the line. The ender pearl texture, by the way, for anybody that's wondering, is from Jersey Boy. I don't think there's anything in here. Doesn't look like there's anything stuck there. Anything that's come up looks like it's probably come out and done the right thing. So the only thing about this that I don't like is that it adds this weird blue column. Uh, and we don't have anything over here that's blue. So we might, we might end up changing the glass in there to be blue. Maybe that could be cool. Don't know. Um, so that should be hooked up. Uh, I don't see any other places that our glass could have gone. We still haven't found our magenta glass yet. I guess it could be in hoppers. Ah, there we go. So there's the glass. So while I know that there's still no carpet on these, because I haven't decided exactly how I want to decorate this end of the, uh, the path, it does look like we have now hooked up the waterway to a proper elevator over here. So now ender pearls can now get launched up into the system and that is going to work perfectly. Now we are still sending endermen straight out of the world. I had thought maybe it would be a good idea to put a platform here so that they go splat and then we could also collect those pearls but it's just going to be so many I'm worried about lagging out the server and I'd rather just have this be a straight up vacation point um, for the Enderman. So we're not going to hook that up. Uh, I thought it would be funny, but at the same time, it's just going to mean more pearls floating around in the system. And this is going to be pretty full as it, as it stands. So, cause whenever you go to use the Ender Ender out here, this, this thing, you're going to end up uh, with, uh, with lots of pearls anyway. So that is part one of today's mission complete. Uh, the next thing I think I want to try to handle is going to be this thing. Uh, that is unfortunately all the time that I have. So let's just go someplace safe. All right. Well, thanks very much, folks. If you've enjoyed this, uh, please go ahead and drop a follow here on Twitch. Uh, if you are watching this later on YouTube, I do a lot of my streaming uh, and, and these episodes on Twitch live. So if you want to hang out with the cool people in the chat, you can do that over at twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan. You can also follow me on social media with just my name. You can check out the Spawn Chunks podcast at the spawnchunks.com. We do that every Monday. Myself and Pixel Riffs, we talk about Minecraft. We've got some, hopefully some good news coming. 14.3 is looking like it's getting a lot closer to release uh which is always good news for us and i think uh, anything else to say oh i i keep on meaning to mention that at the end screen on my youtube videos i've now added a link to patreon and that is a way that you can support me making these videos there's a bunch of different levels uh you can get access to the discord chat which is where a bunch of us hang out and talk minecraft and talk a bunch of other really cool stuff during the week it's also connected to the uh, citadel cafe podcast discord so there's all kinds of nerdy lego food minecraft talk happening there throughout the week and uh, we have a lot of fun but thank you so much to all the folks in the chat today it's been a blast talk to you soon